Hello everyone, my name is Nav and I'm back with a new video lesson series on Midas Civil for bridge design and analysis. Midas is a three-dimensional structural analysis and design software. Uh, it's based on finite element method and this software is very sophisticated and can be used for a variety of structures, simple to complex, and lots of analysis can be done in this software. Some of the examples being moving load analysis, construction stage analysis, p-delta analysis, and so on, as you can see uh, in the screen. Now I would like to talk to you about the element types used in Midas Sybil. Uh, the first one is one-dimensional or beam element. These elements have capability of simulating tension, compression, and bending. A line element can have two nodes. For 2D analysis, each node has three degree of freedom two translation and one rotation. For 3D analysis, each node has six degree of freedom, three translation and three rotation. And then we have 2D elements, also known as plate elements. Common examples being triangles and rectangles, as you can see in the screen. And the third element being solid elements. And the examples are um, shown in the screen. Out of all the available 3D analysis options in Midas, it is important to choose an option that is complex enough to get you accurate results, but not, but not so complex that it becomes over complicated. Oftentimes, the more complex the model becomes, longer the modeling process and more difficult post-processing becomes. So choosing a 3D analysis option depends on your own unique situation and engineering judgment. In our case, I will be using grillage method. This method only uses beam elements and grillage method is commonly used in design by engineers. Uh, let's take a look at one of the examples of a grillage model. Uh, it's shown in the screen on the right side. You can see we have longitudinal beams connected with transverse beam elements for distribution. These transverse beam elements are weightless but have stiffness like that of the deck. Now let's talk about axes in Midas. As we all know, there are three axes. X-axis is the longitudinal direction. Y-axis is the transverse direction. G-axis is perpendicular to plane of X and Y. So this is how Midas looks when you first start it. I just want to say that at the very beginning, of this uh, tutorial that if at any point you have any issues or if you have any questions regarding any tools in Midas, always refer to help menu on the right and click on the on online ma manual and then it will, it will direct you to this uh, website where you can search um, whatever you are looking for. And now we'll talk about the graphical user interface of my software. Um, so uh, when you open this software to go to a new project, you just click here in this plus sign, or you just go up on top, you know, also, also known as file, and then say new project. And then just give a few seconds. Let's now talk about how to save and close project. You can go to the topmost toolbar here and then click on save, or you can go to file and then just click on save. And also if you want to close the project, you can choose to close project using this option. And there's another option right here on topmost right corner. Um, I recommend using this file close project option rather than using this close uh, program option because uh, there is this bug in this software and it sometimes give rise to this licensing issue. This problem is not that frequent in the latest version, but it does happen once in a while. So the best practice is to go to file and close project. Also, before we start uh, modeling the bridge, let's talk about the coordinate system real quick. Um, uh, there are three different types of coordinate systems, basically two, uh, but uh, we can just 
say three the first one being glo global coordinate system the second one being node local axis and the third one being element local axis uh, as you can know global coordinate system is the most common type of coordinate system if the structure is straight with no complex geometry only global coordinate uh, system is used however if the structure is curved or has any other irregular or complex geometry local axes should be used uh, local axes are used to define boundary conditions support and so on for example in a curved uh, bridge local axis should be used to get proper reactions you just have to make sure the orientation of the bearings is along the um, beam element at that location not just being the global x direction element local axis is needed to get the true shear axial or bending moment for a curved member um, we'll talk more about local axis and we'll even rotate uh, the local axis to match the orientation of element uh, at a particular support location so uh, we'll talk more about it in other videos mm -hmm.